I found nine legit remote work from home jobs that either have flexible options or overnight options, and sometimes both. And these are gonna be jobs that are relatively easy to get. I'm gonna be giving you examples of jobs that you can apply to, and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the job so you can figure out if it's a good fit for you and your situation. So if you appreciate me doing this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is a donations coordinator. And this is a job where you can actually make a real difference in someone's life. And basically, you're typically going to be hired by what's known as OPOs or organ procurement organizations, and you connect with people to see if they can donate their organs. Sometimes these would be families of recently deceased individuals, or in some cases, people are able to donate either bone marrow or organs, etc., while they're still alive. And this offers families a chance to honor their loved ones through the gift of donation. So yeah, this is a key role in facilitating successful transplants. And in this position, you'd make about forty to $58,000 a year. It's also a relative easy position to get into. It might require a little bit of training, but typically the company will provide that training for you. So some of the skills that you're probably going to need here are excellent written and verbal communication, empathy, high emotional intelligence, the ability to multitask in a fast paced environment and strong attention to detail. The way you get started is to contact an OPO, Check out this job at Buckeye Transplant by going to their career page. The position transplant coordinator is similar to donation coordinator, so you can apply for this one. You only need to send your resume and a cover letter to this email address. So some of the pros of this job are that you're doing really meaningful work. It is remote work in many cases with flexible hours. Sometimes it's night shift, sometimes it's flexi shift. Plus you get to develop strong communication and interpersonal skills. Some of the cons of this one are it can be emotionally draining. And you really do have to develop really good communication skills because you're going to have to navigate very sensitive situations. So overall, the opportunity score here is going to be an eight out of 10. This one is relatively easy to get into. It doesn't pay all that much, but it's a really good starter job, especially if you want to do something else in the medical field later on down the line. And this is one of those many medical related jobs that are relatively good and relatively easy to get into. And there are a lot like it. Next is going to be a fun one. And I always like to include at least one fun one on the list, even if it's a little unrealistic. And that is going to be a strategy guides writer. So if you have a surgeon like acuity for winning in video games, and maybe also a flair for words, then you might make a really good strategy guide writer. So if you ever gotten stuck on a video game, you maybe you couldn't beat a boss, or you couldn't figure out how to get past a level. Well, if you have, you've probably looked up a strategy guide online, and there are people who specialize in writing those. So you'd basically spend your days playing video games and then writing strategy guides for them to help other people pass the games as well. And typically in this position, you'd make about 45 to $80,000 a year. And if you work for games, GameRant.com, for instance, as a freelance writer, you'd make about forty-three dollars to $73,000 a year. You can check out the opportunity from GameRants, then click this position to read the detail of the job. For this job, you need to contribute a minimum of 25 guide articles per month and pitch regular guide content and research popular games. Note that you'll need to have an experience in SEO practices. This is something that you can actually self-study and practice with, let's say your own blog or a YouTube channel. So now some of the skills you need for this is excellent writing skills, of course, a deep knowledge of video games and video game strategy, strong research and SEO practices, and the ability to meet deadlines. Some of the pros of this one are you do get to typically set your desired working schedule, you get paid to do what you love, and you get to be part of an ever-growing gaming industry. Some of the cons are this is one of the harder ones to get for sure, the tight deadline lines can be stressful, and it's a very competitive job market. So overall, I'm going to give this one a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. But with that being said, I've actually written a strategy guide for how to win the game of YouTube. And I'm going to be doing a live training this week. You can check the link down in the description in the pinned comment below to see exactly when that is, where I'm going to be revealing the three biggest secrets on how to grow and make money on YouTube, just like I've done with this channel that makes about 300k per month. So don't miss out on it. It's going to be super fun. Again, links in the description in the pinned comment below. It should be 9 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, but sometimes the time zones change. So click the link in the description below to check when it is. Next is going to be a really weird one, and it's known as either a user experience athlete or a customer experience specialist. And this is kind of like a high level customer service job. Typically, you're going to be working for innovative tech companies, and you might be working with high level clients. And in this position, you'd expect to make about 57 to $100,000 a year. Now, some of the skills you'd need for this 
this are strong communication, quick problem solving skills, exceptional customer service skills, so good interpersonal communication skills. And then you also kind of want to be a tech junkie, right? Someone who's pretty good at tech. My team found this job with the exact title, a user experience athlete. Check this website out. Go to this position. This one is for people in India. Here are some US-based remote opportunities. Some of the pros here are you play a vital role in the success of the growing tech industry, and you have an opportunity to develop strong customer service skills. Plus, you get paid pretty well for it. Cons are you do have to have technical knowledge of the company's products typically, and on top of that, customer service jobs can sometimes be pretty stressful. But overall, the opportunity score here is going to be a nine out of 10. Next is going to be a Medicare benefits consultant. And this is where you help confused Medicare users navigate the US healthcare system, which is needlessly complicated, unfortunately. And believe it or not, using Medicare and insurance in the right way can actually save you literally a thousand dollars a month or more on your medical costs. This is something I know because I used to be a pharmacist and people who you know use insurance the right way actually save a ton of money. And that's exactly what you'd be helping people do in this position. And in this position, you can make 78 to $138,000 a year. So yeah, this one is excellent. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Some of the skills and qualifications you have to have is empathy, sales skills, patience, and a strong understanding of Medicare and how the medical system works. Some of the pros are you get to make a real difference in seniors' lives by helping them choose the best Medicare plan. And even though it is technically a sales position, it's not very salesy. So typically you don't have to have previous sales experience because the focus is on education and support. Some of the cons is it does require studying and passing a resident health license exam, although in many cases the company will provide you with resources for that, and it can be emotionally demanding. But overall, this one is excellent. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a bilingual marketing assistant. So this is somebody who would help to share engaging content across different social media platforms. And in some cases, they may even be engaging with the followers themselves, but they would be doing it in multiple different languages. So a lot of the time it would be English and Spanish, for instance. And you give yourself a huge advantage if you are bilingual because you can talk to multiple different types of people and you're much more likely to get the job. And in this position, you'd expect to make about 45 to $66,000 a year. Now, some of the skills you need here are both excellent written and verbal communication skills for English and whatever other foreign language you know. You'd also need social media savvy and you need good content creation skills. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And some of the pros here are you get to improve your bilingual skills and you get to learn marketing, which is an incredibly important skill set. And then the cons here are it is a lower starting salary compared to other remote jobs. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. If you want to get into this marketing job or even better marketing jobs, there's there's actually a free masterclass which you can check out down in the description in the pinned comment below, which a ton of people on this channel have used to actually get jobs in digital marketing. I've even done interviews with the people who have worked with Seth, who runs the masterclass. So definitely check that out. Click the link in the description in the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a service request processor. This is basically somebody who handles customer requests for something like building maintenance services. So you basically process them through the system, then you dispatch people as needed, sometimes very urgently. And you want to prioritize urgent needs, of course, and address critical building issues quickly. So you're basically the primary point of contact between the customers and the maintenance team. And guess what? Emergencies sometimes happen at weird hours of the day, sometimes in the middle of the night. So there are a lot of opportunities for work from home at night jobs and also flexi jobs. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. And in this position, you'd expect to make about 40 to $61,000 a year. So some of the skills or qualifications you might need are, of course, good communication skills, problem solving, time management. It's good to be a multitask and you do need to be relatively computer literate. Some of the pros of this one are there are a lot of work from home job opportunities, of course, but there's also more flex fee and nighttime job opportunities too. And it is a stable full-time job with benefits typically. And there is a clear structure and defined tasks. Some of the cons are it does require strong focus and adherence to schedule due to constant phone use. There is limited flexibility during work hours due to phone responsibilities and repetitive tasks may not appeal to everyone. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next one is going to be an agent support specialist. This is somebody who works as a support specialist, but in a very specific industry, the repossession industry. And this is basically where you make sure that rentals and cars, etc., get returned to the dealership or the rental company. Now, these repossessions don't always happen during the nine to five working hours. Sometimes they happen at weird hours, sometimes in the middle of the night or flexi schedule hours. So there's a lot of opportunities for that out there. And you make about 41 to $58,000 a year. Doesn't require a college degree or previous experience, etc., to get into it. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. Some of the skills you're going to need are, of course, good communication skills. You need to be highly organized. You need to be able to
able to collaborate with a team and you need the ability to work independently. Some of the pros of this one are remote work with overnight hours. In many cases, you play a key role in a fast paced industry and you get varied tasks and problem solving opportunities. So it's not going to be the same thing all the time. Some of the cons are it does require strong communication skills and you might have to deal with pretty irate people. Overnight hours, of course, can disrupt your sleep patterns and the fast paced environment may not suit everyone. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. By the way, share this video with a friend who needs to see it. Maybe it's a friend, family member, or just somebody who needs to get a job. Go ahead and share this video with them. By the way, I did make a video on the 17 work from home job companies that are always hiring. And these are actual companies that you can apply to. And they're pretty much always hiring. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.